What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Brandon with Motor Nubs and this is not exactly a normal video like I've ever done. Normally I'm all about go and not about show, but uh, my boat is at, like starting to oxidize and I've never polished, I've never compounded, I've never done anything like that. So I figured why not go to Harbor Freight and buy some stuff and see how bad of a job I can do. Um, I'll show you what I got here in a second and show you the prices on it or we'll tell you the prices on it and see if we can, I don't know, polish something or compound it, I don't know, but we'll, we'll, we'll go. Alright guys and gals, this is, uh, this is what we're working with, this is the Drill Master uh, 10 inch random orbital polisher and waxer, let me go ahead and open it up, uh, this is like $15.99 at Harbor Freight, it was like the cheapest one they had well no actually there was one cheaper but it was a really small one it was like a handheld one and I don't want it to take forever to get done so boom there it is pretty big it's got a plug it did not come with an actual cover so I bought one of those let me grab that all right so this is the uh, the polishing pad or bonnet that I got it's a 9 to 10 inch fleece polishing bonnet also got this at Harbor Freight it was like two bucks uh, the reason why I got this is it says it's good for wood, plastic, and fiberglass. The boat's fiberglass, so I guess it'll be good for that. Um, now that's going to be going on the drill. And um, reading the directions on the two compounds that we're going to be doing today is I got a fine cut cleaner. It's a, it says it's like a mid-grade cut compound removes surface defects uh, including oxidation stains scratches swirls and fresh water spots so uh, I got oxidation that's the biggest thing I wanted to remove and then after we apply this it says to apply the high-tech yellow wax over top of it um, now reading the directions you put this on and then uh, when working on uncured pen then you wipe it off after you work it in and so I got me some uh, microfiber cloths also from Harbor Freight these were $1.99 for a pack of four and these Meguiar these were also from Harbor Freight too um, these were on sale uh, the mirror glaze was $9.99 and the uh, fine cut cleaner was $12.99 so um, all in all I think I spent like I don't know 40 bucks maybe uh, and let me get some close-up shots to show you the before on the boat and I might do like a little test spot right in one spot to like I don't know let me show you all right so um, as you can see right here it's really dulled out on the top you can see where there used to be some like stickers right here see there's uh, it's really rough a lot of a lot of oxidation it's getting really hazy you can see right here this is supposed to be like this dark color under here but it's like all oxidized out so it's got a fair bit of oxidation on it we'll see if we uh, can't make it better or make it worse I guess it can only get better right well no I could it could get worse we don't we don't want to talk about that so all right now let me get it out and see if we can't do something So I just plugged it in and it works, shakes a lot. Um, now following the directions on, and, and also you high, like the, the professional detailers out there are probably cringing at me right now. Uh, I'm probably doing something wrong, I guarantee it. Um, I'm sorry, I apologize to you guys in, in advance. You gotta know where I'm coming from. Um, it's not like I, I wash or buff or really wax anything so give me a give me a little grain of salt here and uh, this is definitely not a how-to guide this is more of a watch me fail guide but the directions it says shake well um, apply onto polisher one section at a time uh, apply product directly to buffing pad and proceed to buff work product until nearly dry then wipe off excess with clean 
wipe. Okay, so I got my got my cloth to clean it off. Let's see. Uh, let's pump a little bit onto here. Oh, is it is it sealed? Oh, it's got a little seal. Okay. Well, I know nobody's uh, used any. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on. Maybe like maybe like that much. Is that enough? Hold on. I put that much on. It might be too much, actually. We'll see. Is it gonna sling it everywhere? Hold on. Let me let me get a shot of this. Okay, I don't know if you can tell right here, but I basically, I started right here. This is the new section that I buffed, and this is the old section. So actually, wow, there's a huge difference to the feel. I don't know if you can actually see, like, old, new. This is so much smoother. The buffer doesn't really feel like it's doing a whole lot. It's just kind of vibrating and, and turning real slow. Um, I'm gonna apply some more to get this section down here because I need to put it like on the edge of the buffer kinda. Uh, but I think it's working pretty good. So um, I'm gonna try to buff out this section because you can clearly see like where there's these um, these like oxidation lines. Let me, I'm gonna just try this right here. Okay guys, the proof's in the pudding right here. This is where, this is old. This is new. See, this is the line that divides it. I, it got almost all these lines out. I can still barely see them. You may not be able to pick it up on camera, but you see these lines right here? See, they're barely there. I might be able to put a little bit more polish on there or, or the compound stuff and, and get it worked out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and work this whole section of the boat right here. Um, and uh, yeah, so wish me luck. All right, guys and gals, just checking back in. Now, the first thing is I'm going to show you the passenger side of the boat because I have not done this top passenger side of the boat. So take a look at this. See all the oxidation. See it all the way back. Okay, now and let me go do the driver's side because I've done the driver's side from the front all the way to the back. I compounded it with the uh, the cutter or fine cutter, and then I put the uh, the yellow wax on top of it. So you can already see a pretty good difference from there to there. So now let me pan through here. It removed almost all these these lines right here. I can barely see them now. And I stopped right here at this vent, so you can see, oxidized, wax. So I stopped right there. So I, all in all, for the money, I don't think it was a bad, uh, a bad deal. Um, but now it's getting really, really hot outside. The sun's really come out, and on the bottle it says, "Do not do it in um, like direct sunlight." So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a break and maybe do that this evening and finish it up. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Brandon on Motor Nubs, and I'll see you on the next one.